So I am about a week late, but I am here to discuss Super Pack 3. Now Super Pack 3 includes uh, some cards that I think were previously uh, unlimited and in this game they're semi-limited and I think about, around the time this game, I think I talked about this before, but around the time this game came out uh, was in the ban list of 2010 and that's when some of these cards are semi-limited. So the first card that I want to talk about is Destiny Hero Malicious. That card used to be unlimited up until a couple months before this game came out and this game came out for that ban list. So it is semi-limited in this game along with uh, the copy of uh, Destiny Draw and um, I mean it's a good card, you send it to the graveyard, you remove it from play while it's in the graveyard, you summon another one, it's a level 6, so you can automatically summon creep on, so play spreader zombie and uh, tune it up into same, uh, to Stardust Dragon, you know, so I mean it's a pretty good card. Next you got uh, Elemental Hero Stratos, now Elemental Hero Stratos is a card that is uh, limited to 1 in this game. And I think we've had, we've had another two packs that already shown this card. So I mean, by now, if you've been buying like the main packs that I've been showing, you probably should have a copy of it already. I think the very first pack in the game, card pack number one, actually comes with a copy of Elemental Stratos. Uh, here we got the Garden Sphinx. Uh, this is one of those cards that when it flips up and flips down every turn, it gets the ability to do so. And this card's effect is interesting because it sends every monster the opponent's side of the field back to their hand or back to wherever they came from. So if it's a fusion monster, it goes back to the fusion or extra deck. And if it's a monster, it goes back into their hand and such and such and such. Next we got uh, Honest. Now uh, this Honest would probably be about the third Honest you could probably get through just buying packs and that's a pretty good thing because if you're planning on making like an Odama deck or making like, a light based deck or making a, a deck based on life forms, this is probably one of those packs you should buy because it gives you a copy of Honest and Honest works pretty well with life forms. Next we got Rose Warrior of Revenge and this card is a tuner so you can tune it with monsters. Level 4 is a warrior uh, so it's got decent attack and anytime it inflicts damage to your opponent they lose another extra 300 life points, so it, it's pretty decent. Next, we got uh, Testalos the Firestorm Monarch. The Firestorm Monarch, it makes your opponent discard a card, and if it's a monster, they lose uh, 100 life points multiplied by the uh, number of stars that monster has. So if it's a level 8 monster that got discarded, they lose 800 life points. Next, we got uh, Volcanic Doomfire, this is Volcanic Monsters. Uh, I think this pack also comes with Tribe Blaze uh, Accelerator. Uh, for summoning that card is we got vortex trooper it's like a weaker version of card trooper and you gotta shuffle two cards from your hand into your deck and then you draw two more when this card gets destroyed you draw a card so I mean, it's pretty interesting it's kind of like a think of it like a reload or think of it like a magical mallet uh, built into a monster uh, the only bad thing though is that it does not increase its attack when you use that effect if it did then it would be pretty useful next we got destiny draw so we got a destiny draw and destiny hero malicious along in the same pack uh, this card is uh, sem uh, semi-limited, of course, like uh, the Destiny Hero Malicious is, but you only get one copy of, and from what I looked in the card uh, pack list, it only comes in this pack, it's a Destiny Hero Malicious, so you're gonna have to farm for another. I already have two copies of both Destiny Hero Malicious and both Destiny Draw, so that's pretty good for me. You got Monster Reborn, nothing important in here, nothing new. Shrink, nothing important here, nothing new. Tribal Blaze Accelerator, nothing important here, nothing new. This is for Volcanic Doomfire. We also have Ceasefire. Ceasefire, oh my god, my voice is going out for like a second. You got Dark Drive, it's a pretty good card. Uh, you can encounter any spell or trap, the opponent draws a card instead. Uh, return from different dimension. Now we have the good stuff here that I like to talk about. Ally of Justice Catastrophe. Now what this card does is whenever it battles a monster before the damage calculation, if the monster is not dark, it kills it automatically. There's not a lot of good uh, 5 star uh, level synchro monsters in this game for you to use to splash into any deck. And this is one of them. You know, if the monster you're battling, if the monster you want to kill is not dark, then you can summon this card. Uh, soon in level 2 with a level 3, tune it to level 5 synchro and kill it automatically before uh, the damage calculation is applied. Next, we got uh, Black Rose Dragon. Now, this is the second pack that actually shows a Black Rose Dragon. I think card pack uh, four. Is a, I think it's four. The one that also comes with another Black Rose Dragon. And pretty much, you know, you summon it, you can kill the whole field. So it's, it becomes like a like a dark hole built dark hole heavy storm type thing. It kills everything, including itself. And if you have another uh, plant in your in your what do you call it in your graveyard, then you can uh, remove one plant and you can switch the position of a monster on the field. Next, we got a Blackwing Armor Master. This card cannot be destroyed by battle. And we got a uh, Flambo Urikisus. This one uh, it has trample effect, so even if the monster is in defense, the opponent loses life points. And next, we got Iron Chain Dragon, a uh, card that I don't really care for since, in my opinion, uh, Iron Chain Monk Creatures, the Iron Chain deck type, is not really that good. It's, it's not near even top tier or first tier or whatever. So, I mean, that is uh, Super Pack 
3, I mean, he's, he's okay. Uh, I think the honest and the honest Rose Warrior of Revenge, Destiny Heroes, the Destiny Hero Militias, and the Destiny God were the only things that are really important here. And maybe also the Ally of Justice and the Black Rose Dragon. Everything else is secondary, and the pack is worth four bucks, so I mean, I don't know. I don't know. It's up to you. It's up to you. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.